Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to get your first thick items case extremely quickly here in Escape from Tarkov. Guys, make sure you're leaving a like on this video here today. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Just hit 13K and then we went and hit 13.1. 100 subs in just a couple of days. Thank you guys so much for the recent support, man. It is truly appreciated and for all the new viewers i would love to have you for the long run hopefully you enjoy the content here let's hop into it man thick items case i got my first one yesterday which was day nine i'm gonna have my second one tomorrow after my lead x craft finishes and uh this will be one on barter and one from private clinic so that'll be two thick items cases in 11 days of the wipe the last wipe, I got my first one on day 15. So I'm doing way better this wipe when it comes to getting to 35 and getting the thick items cases and freeing up all that space in the stash. So me, I just use it as storage for now. The next one will really clean up the rest of the stash. And then we start to expand from there. So how did I get my first one? Well, the first one was from the alcohol barter. And that second one, as I said, is going to be from private clinic. But first, we need to talk about getting to level 35. This is the hardest part of it. Making the money is not really a hard thing. If you guys have been subscribed for a while here, you guys know I always am giving you the tips and tricks to make a shit ton of money quick. And I am still working on some money guides for you guys. But at the end of the day, if you've been subbed for a while, you know a lot of the rap money stuff and all this other shit that we do to make a shit ton of money. And all those things combined gives you enough cash to be able to afford those thick cases when you can. But getting to level 35... There's no easy way around that. That is something you have to grind for. You have to work towards it. And in my personal opinion, for most players, the best way to do this is through task. Not everybody is going to be an absolute Chad machine on the map, and they're not going to be landmark killing everybody on every single map, every single raid. If you're like that, then you probably don't need to do as many tasks, or you can just go farm rogues or farm raiders on labs, etc. If you're a little bit you know, more of a casual player, then maybe your style is PvP. Go farm on factory. It might be a little more your style. But for most players, I would say the task system is really rewarding because not only do you get new items you can buy from traders, also additional rewards. You have the operational task as well you can do, which are fun. At the end of the day, you get a shit ton of XP from task. Gunsmith Part 16, for example, gives me 32,800 XP, and that is not with any bonuses that you would get from the hideout on the XP. I'm not even sure if Intel Center helps with XP or not. Definitely does with cash and stuff, but I'm not sure on that. And I don't have my library upgraded yet in the hideout. That'll be tomorrow. But, um, you know, there's a bunch of different stuff to get you to 35. But task is the way to go. Don't get me wrong. At first, they are very tedious. I personally hate Shoreline. But yesterday or two days ago on Shoreline, I just grinded out almost every single task that I have for there. And... Honestly, I got enough XP to level from 33 to 35 just from doing a lot of shoreline tasks. And what I did is I took in a Taj shotgun with a five round magazine, went and placed all my markers, ran over what I needed to run over, collected items I needed, whatever it is. I didn't focus on PVP. I only focused on the tasks. So if you guys are struggling for XP, work on some tasks for a day, run really budget kits, a Taz with a five round magazine and no other gear just to do tasks. That's like 8K. That's all it is. It's no money at all. If you care about KD, then I don't know what to tell you. You can see that I don't give a fuck about KD. I have 312 raids. I mean, look at my stats. They are not that great. So when it comes to task, guys, hitting level 35 is the most important part to getting a thick case quickly, grinding XP. Next is stocking up on alcohol before you get to 35. This is my next most important tip, along with buying a shit ton of mini fridges. Okay, here's three here, and I think there's one inside one of the items cases there's one right there is there a fifth one there is not so i have four mini fridges you're going to need to stock these up as well doing the barter from jaeger so you have enough space for the alcohol once you do buy it all the alcohol is going to run you a pretty hefty amount of rubles but if you're saving up or buying it as you go when it comes to doing the barter from jaeger if you're farming interchange this is a very easy barter to get these you don't have to pay for this they're super expensive barter items right now if you get those for basically free, then you're only paying for your thick case. And then you need 50 moonshine, 50 vodka, and 30 whiskey. I'm going to give you the current math right now on what everything is selling for. However, mine were a little bit cheaper. So I was buying moonshine at about 130,000 rubles. You can see it's basically up to 180. There's a couple outliers there. But I was buying them at 130. I bought 25 moonshine at 130. And then I bought 25 more at 160. Now, the current price, we're going to average at 180, so it's going to be 180,000 rubles times 50, and we'll do all the math at the end. 
And then the whiskeys are selling for, I think it's like 40 to 50. All right, so we'll say 40K on that. So you need 30 of those. So it's 40,000 rubles times 30 there. And then the vodka, I think was about 20K, 25K now. So you need 50 of those. So 25,000 times 50. So we're going to add all of that up. All right, so the current price of a thick items case right now, as I'm speaking to you, is 11.45 million, 11 million 450,000 rubles based on those averages. So 50 moonshine is going to run you 9 million exact. Uh, 30 whiskey is going to run you 1.2 mil. And then 50 vodka is going to run you 1.25 million. So that's going to come out to 11.45 million. These thick items cases, and I'm going to be honest with you, probably after this video goes up, are going to probably go up more towards the 13 to 14 and then into the 15, 16, 17 range as moonshine becomes more expensive, as more people get to 35, as more people unlock the flea market. There's a whole bunch of variables there, um, but those items are going to get more expensive and the thick case price will go up. But when you buy early, right now is still early, guys. It is still early. These vodkas might go up. All three of the barter items might go up. And it wouldn't surprise me if Battlestate Games adds the new alcohol into the barter as well. And I'm going to tell you this just in case. This bottle of beer right here, it would not surprise me if Battlestate Games throws 30 of these on that barter as more people start getting to 35. Just keep this in mind. It's just, it's just a theory. But this one might also be in there at some point. I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, right now, 11.4 mil is very, very cheap for a thick items case. They're worth about 15 to 17. So my honest advice is buy as much alcohol right now in Escape from Tarkov that you can. Stock it up, put it in the mini fridges, and really with these two things combined, grinding XP as hard as you can, and then just focus on buying alcohol at this early price. It's going to save you so much in the long run. And it's really going to get you those thick items cases way faster than you ever imagined. Having 25 moonshine when you're ready to buy your thick items case with 5 mil and that's all you have, that 5 mil is going to get you the rest of those moonshines. And you're going to feel great because you have all your moonshines done and they're the most expensive item. After that, you just need a couple more million and you got yourself a thick items case once you hit 35. These two tips are my biggest tips. Grinding XP and stocking up alcohol. Those two things combined will get you your first thick items case in no time. Obviously, it's going to be up to your situation how much you can actually play to get to level 35. But assuming you can play enough to get it relatively quickly within the next month or so, you're going to be good to go, man. So hopefully you guys did learn something, found something informative here today. I got a really good video coming out later about the water filters in the hideout. There's a new little change this wipe, and it is pretty broken. I'm going to record that right after this, and that'll be scheduled um probably a little later tonight maybe towards like eight nine o'clock at night eastern time so make sure you guys are looking out for that one guys make sure you leave that like subscribe sponsors and equipment description below it's gonna be it for me thank you so much for stopping by today i'm out